Kelly here. I wanted to show y'all a little <clears throat> control enclosure I put together today. Put this together. Got a green, red, white LED. And got some push buttons and a little three position switch there. And uh, we got a motor controller. And I'm going to show y'all. I'll hook this up so that uh, I'll show you the little circuit here. So we got a 120 volt control circuit. We've got a normally closed stop push button, normally open start push button, uh, and our motor control coil, two auxiliary, normally open auxiliary contact, a normally closed auxiliary contact, and a normally closed overload contact as well, and a green and red LED. So the way the circuit works is L1 is your hot and L2 is your neutral. So the power comes in here, goes across a normally closed switch, which uh, normally closed means it always conducts. It goes to a normally open start switch, which only conducts when you press it down. And uh, that's a normally normally open uh, auxiliary contact, which only conducts when it's when the coil is energized. So, the power comes through here. When you push the button, it'll continue across. It'll energize the coil. Now, when the coil is energized, it will close this contact so that the power can then bypass the switch and power both the motor control coil and it continues through here and the green LED which continues through here now when it, and to stop it you'll hit the stop button when you push the stop button it'll break the circuit and uh, then it'll it'll go it'll turn off and when it's off you've got this normally closed contact here an auxiliary contact from the motor coil and it will always conduct unless the coils energize and then which it'll open up but when it's off power will light up that red LED. So when the motor's running, you'd have a green LED. When it's not running, you got a red LED. So I'm gonna show you here. We'll do a little demonstration. So turn the power on first. And watch when I turn the power on. The red LED turns on because the motor's not running. And to start it, you simply hit the green button. And there you go. Light lights up. The, the contact the coil is now energized and to kill it, hit the stop button. So start. Stop, start, stop. I don't know if you can see, look at the contactor here when you energize it. See that goes down? And that's pretty much it.